Well, there's always a, a tremendous technical proficiency in today's students. You know, they're coming from, from all over, from Korea and, and China and uh, uh, Europe. They have a certain level, high level of proficiency when they come over here. And uh, that's to be expected these days. It's, it's almost a, a given that they can play anything. But perhaps because of this, uh, this, uh, this ability at such, at such an early age to be able to play anything, sometimes the individuality of the artist is not really developed enough. And, you know, uh, when I say that when they're exposed to different type of artists uh, here at uh, the Music Academy, they, they get all of a sudden their, uh, their inner selves seems to emerge. And, and, and their personality becomes certainly more defined. And, uh, you know, when you're in your practice room and just practicing your Paganini and, and your, your etudes and, and your concertos, uh, there's a certain limitation there. Just this exposure to not only the fresh air, but to the wonderful musicians who come through to teach, uh, I think really opens up their horizons and helps them develop as individuals which otherwise at a, a camp that they would go to where they'd be just practicing the technique of, of the art, that's fine too. You have to have the technique in order to express yourself. But there's so much more. And there's more and more fine talent coming all, from all over now uh, that you expect a certain level. And with audition process here, you, you might even hear 250 to 300 kids who want to come to and out of you know, they select only 28 or 29 violins, and that's it. So you can imagine that they have to be pretty f fantastic just to be here.